Cayman Islands. The Cayman Islands are a British overseas territory in the Western Caribbean Sea. The territory comprises the three islands of Grand Cayman, Cayman Brac and Little Cayman, south of Cuba and northwest of Jamaica. The Cayman Islands are considered to be part of the geographic Western Caribbean zone as well as the Greater Antilles. The territory is a major world offshore financial center. History The Cayman Islands remained largely uninhabited until the 17th century. While there is no archaeological evidence for an indigenous people on the islands, a variety of settlers from various backgrounds made their home on the islands, including pirates, refugees from the Spanish Inquisition, shipwrecked sailors, and deserters from Oliver Cromwell's army in Jamaica. The first recorded permanent inhabitant of the Cayman Islands, Isaac Bodden, was born on Grand Cayman around 1661. He was the grandson of the original settler named Bodden who was probably one of Oliver Cromwell's soldiers at the taking of Jamaica in 1655. England took formal control of the Cayman Islands, along with Jamaica, as a result of the Treaty of Madrid of 1670. Following several unsuccessful attempts at settlement, a permanent English-speaking population in the island dates from the 1730s. With settlement, after the first royal land grant by the governor of Jamaica in 1734, came the perceived need for slaves. Many were brought to the islands from Africa. This is evident today with the majority of native Caymanians being of African and English descent. The results of the first census taken in the islands in 1802 showed the population on Grand Cayman to be 933 with 545 of those inhabitants being slaves. Slavery was abolished in the Cayman Islands in 1834. At the time of abolition, there were over 950 slaves owned by 116 Caymanian families. The islands continued to be governed as part of the colony of Jamaica until 1962, when they became a separate crown colony while Jamaica became an independent Commonwealth realm. The Cayman Islands historically have been a tax exempt destination. On February 8, 1794, the Caymanians rescued the crews of a group of ten merchant ships, including HMS Convert, an incident that has since become known as the Wreck of the Ten Sail. The ships had struck a reef and run aground during rough seas. Legend has it that King George III rewarded the island with a promise never to introduce taxes as compensation for their generosity, as one of the ships carried a member of the king's own family, his son Prince William, Duke of Clarence and St. Andrews. While this remains a popular legend, the story is not true. However, whatever the history, in practice the government of the Cayman Islands has always relied on indirect and not direct taxes. The islands have never levied income tax, capital gains tax, or any wealth tax, making them a popular tax haven. On 11 to 12 September 2004 the island of Grand Cayman, which lies largely unprotected at sea level, was hit by Hurricane Ivan creating an eight-foot storm surge which flooded many areas of Grand Cayman. An estimated 83% of the dwellings on the island were damaged including 4% requiring complete reconstruction. A reported 70% of all dwellings suffered severe damage from flooding or wind. Another 26% sustained minor damage from partial roof removal, low levels of flooding, or impact with floating or wind-driven hurricane debris. Power. Water and communications were disrupted for months in some areas, as Ivan was the worst hurricane to hit the islands in 86 years. Grand Cayman began a major rebuilding process and within two years, its infrastructure was nearly returned to pre-hurricane status. Due to the tropical location of the islands, more hurricane or tropical systems have affected the Cayman Islands than any other region in the Atlantic Basin. It has been brushed or directly hit, on average, every 2.23 years. Geography The Cayman Islands are in the Western Caribbean Sea and are the peaks of a massive underwater ridge, known as the Cayman Ridge, or Cayman Rise. This ridge flanks the Cayman Trough, 6,000 m, 20,000 feet, deep which lies 6 km, 3.7 miles, to the south. The islands lie in the northwest of the Caribbean Sea east of Quintana Roo, Mexico and the Yucatan Mexico, south of Cuba and west of Jamaica. 
They are situated about 700 kilometers, 430 miles, south of Miami, 366 kilometers, 227 miles, south of Cuba, and about 500 kilometers, 310 miles, northwest of Jamaica. Grand Cayman is by far the biggest, with an area of 197 kilometers to 76 square miles. Grand Cayman's two sister islands, Cayman Brac and Little Cayman, are about 120 kilometers, 75 miles, east northeast of Grand Cayman and have areas of 38 and 28.5 kilometers to 14.7 and 11.0 square miles, respectively. All three islands were formed by large coral heads covering submerged ice age peaks of western extensions of the Cuban Sierra Maestra range and are mostly flat. One notable exception to this is the bluff on Cayman Brac's eastern part, which rises to 43 m, 141 feet, above sea level, the highest point on the islands. Terrain is mostly a low-lying limestone bay surrounded by coral reefs. Fauna. The mammalian species in the islands include the introduced Central American agouti and eight species of bats. At least three now extinct native rodent species were present up until the discovery of the islands by Europeans. A number of cetaceans are found in offshore waters. Cayman avian fauna includes two endemic subspecies of Amazona parrots, Amazona lucus vala hestina, or Cayman brac parrot, native only to Cayman brac, and Amazona lucus vala caymanensis or Grand Cayman parrot, which is native to the Cayman Islands, forested areas of Cuba, and the Isla de la Juventud. Little Cayman and Cayman brac are also home to red footed and brown booby birds. Among other notable fauna is the endangered blue iguana which is endemic to Grand Cayman. Climate The Cayman Islands have a tropical marine climate, with a wet season of warm, rainy summers, May to October, and a dry season of relatively cool winters, November to April. A major natural hazard is the tropical cyclones that form during the Atlantic hurricane season from June to November. On 11 and 12 September 2004, Hurricane Ivan struck the Cayman Islands. The storm resulted in two deaths, and caused great damage to the infrastructure on the islands. The total economic impact of the storms was estimated to be $3.4 billion. Demographics The Cayman Islands have more registered businesses than people. The latest population estimate of the Cayman Islands is about 56,000 as of mid-2011, representing a mix of more than 100 nationalities. Out of that number, about half are of Caymanian descent. About 60% of the population is of mixed race, mostly mixed African-Caucasian. The islands are almost exclusively Christian, with large numbers of Presbyterians and Catholics. The vast majority of the population resides on Grand Cayman, followed by Cayman Brac and Little Cayman, respectively. The population is projected to rise to 60,000 by 2020. The capital of the Cayman Islands is Georgetown, on the southwest coast of Grand Cayman. District Populations According to the Cayman Islands 2010 census the estimated resident population is 54,878 people, broken down as follows. Georgetown, 27,704. West Bay, 11,269. Bodentown, 10,341. North Side, 1,437. East End, 1,369. Cayman Brac and Little Cayman. Sister Islands, 2,277. Economy With an average income of around KYD $47,000, Caymanians have the highest standard of living in the Caribbean. According to the CIA World Factbook, the Cayman Islands' GDP per capita is the 14th highest in the world. The islands print their own currency, the Cayman Islands dollar, KYD, which is pegged to the U.S. dollar at a fixed rate of 1 Cayman Islands dollar equals 1 U.S. dollar in 25 cents. The government's primary source of income is indirect taxation, there is no income tax, capital gains tax, or corporation tax. 
an import duty of 5% to 22%, automobiles 29.5% to 100% is levied against goods imported into the islands. Few goods are exempt. Notable exemptions include books, cameras, and infant formula. On July 15, 2012 the Cayman Islands Premier Mackie Vabush announced the intended introduction of a community enhancement fee in the form of a payroll tax to be paid solely by expatriate workers. Caymanians themselves were to remain exempt from this tax. This would have been the first direct tax on income in the Cayman Islands history. Bush also announced a 5% fee on certain categories of employment to be payable by businesses. However, the payroll tax would lower GDP and was scrapped before it had been implemented. Tourism One of Grand Cayman's main attractions is Seven Mile Beach, site of a number of the island's hotels and resorts. Named one of the ultimate beaches by Caribbean travel and life, Seven Mile Beach is on the western shore of Grand Cayman Island. It is a public property and possible to walk the full length of the beach, past all the hotels resorts, and public beach bars. Historical sites in Grand Cayman, such as Pedro St. James Castle in Savannah, also attract visitors. Tourists also visit the sister islands, Little Cayman and Cayman Brac. All three islands offer scuba diving, and the Cayman Islands are home to several snorkeling locations, where tourists can swim with stingrays. The most popular area to do this is Stingray City. Grand Cayman Stingray City is a top attraction in Grand Cayman and originally started in the 1980s, when divers started feeding squid to stingrays. The stingrays started to associate the sound of the boat motors with food, and thus visit this area year-round. There are two shipwrecks off the shores of Cayman Brac, including the MV Captain Keith Tibets. Grand Cayman also has several shipwrecks off its shores, including one deliberate one. On September 30, 1994 the USS Kittawake was decommissioned and struck from the naval vessel register. In November 2008 her ownership was transferred for an undisclosed amount to the government of the Cayman Islands, which had decided to sink Kittawake in June 2009 to form a new artificial reef off Seven Mile Beach, Grand Cayman. Following several delays, the ship was finally scuttled according to plan on January 5, 2011. The Kittawake has become a dynamic environment for marine life. While visitors are not allowed to take anything, there are endless sights. Each of the five decks of the ship offers squirrelfish, rare sponges, goliath groupers, urchins, and more. Experienced and beginner divers are invited to swim around the Kittawake. Other Grand Cayman tourist attractions include the Iron Shore Landscape of Hell, the 23 acre, 93,000 m2. Marine theme park Bosun's Beach, also home of the Cayman Turtle Farm, the production of gourmet sea salt, and the Mastic Trail, a hiking trail through the forests in the center of the island. The National Trust for the Cayman Islands provides guided tours weekly on the Mastic Trail and other locations. Points of interest include the East End Light, sometimes called Galling Bluff Light, a lighthouse at the east end of Grand Cayman Island in the Cayman Islands. The lighthouse is the centerpiece of East End Lighthouse Park, managed by the National Trust for the Cayman Islands. The first navigational aid on the site was the first lighthouse in the Cayman Islands. Shipping The Merchant Marine total is 123 ships, 1,000 GRT or over, totaling 2,402,058 GRT slash 3,792,094 metric tons dead weight, DWT, ships by type, bulk 22, cargo 5, chemical tanker 31, container 2, liquefied gas 1, petroleum tanker 21, refrigerated cargo 35, roll on roll off 5, specialized tanker 1 note. Some foreign ships register in the Cayman Islands as a flag of convenience. Includes ships from 11 countries among which are, Greece 15, US 5, UK 5, Cyprus 2, Denmark 2, Norway 3, 2002 IST. Financial Services Industry The Cayman Islands are a major international financial center. The biggest sectors are banking, 
hedge fund formation and investment, structured finance and securitization, captive insurance, and general corporate activities. Regulation and supervision of the financial services industry is the responsibility of the Cayman Islands Monetary Authority, CIMA. The Cayman Islands are the fifth largest banking center in the world, with $1.5 trillion in banking liabilities. There are 279 banks, as of June 2008, 19 of which are licensed to conduct banking activities with domestic, Cayman-based, and international clients, the remaining 260 are licensed to operate on an international basis with only limited domestic activity. Financial services generated 1.2 billion Cayman Islands dollars of GDP in 2007, 55% of the total economy, 36% of all employment and 40% of all government revenue. In 2010, the country ranked fifth internationally in terms of value of liabilities booked in the Cayman Islands and sixth in terms of assets booked. It is branches of 40 of the world's 50 largest banks. The Cayman Islands are the second largest captive domicile, Bermuda is largest, in the world with more than 700 captives, writing more than 7.7 billion US dollars of premiums and with 36.8 billion US dollars of assets under management. There are a number of service providers. These include global financial institutions including HSBC, Deutsche Bank, UBS, and Goldman Sachs. Over 80 administrators, leading accountancy practices, Inc. The big four auditors, and offshore law practices including Maples and Calder. They also include wealth management such as Rothschild's private banking and financial advice. Since the introduction of the Mutual Funds Law in 1993, which has been copied by jurisdictions around the world, the Cayman Islands have grown to be the world's leading offshore hedge fund jurisdiction. In June 2008, it passed 10,000 hedge fund registrations, and over the year ending June 2008 CIMA reported a net growth rate of 12% for hedge funds. Starting in the mid-late 1990s, offshore financial centers, such as the Cayman Islands, came under increasing pressure from the OECD for their allegedly harmful tax regimes, where the OECD wished to prevent low tax regimes from having an advantage in the global marketplace. The OECD threatened to place the Cayman Islands and other financial centers on a blacklist, and impose sanctions against them. However, the Cayman Islands successfully avoided being placed on the OECD blacklist in 2000 by committing to regulatory reform to improve transparency and begin information exchange with OECD member countries about their citizens. In 2004, under pressure from the UK, the Cayman Islands agreed in principle to implement the European Union Savings Directive, EUSD, but only after securing some important benefits for the financial services industry in the Cayman Islands. As the Cayman Islands are not subject to EU laws, the implementation of the EUSD is by way of bilateral agreements between each EU member state and the Cayman Islands. The government of the Cayman Islands agreed on a model agreement, which set out how the EUSD would be implemented with the Cayman Islands. A report published by the International Monetary Fund IMF, in March 2005, assessing supervision and regulation in the Cayman Islands banking, insurance and securities industries, as well as its money laundering regime, recognized the jurisdiction's comprehensive regulatory and compliance frameworks. An extensive program of legislative, Rule and guideline development has introduced an increasingly effective system of regulation, both formalizing earlier practices and introducing enhanced procedures, noted IMF assessors. The report further stated that the supervisory system benefits from a well developed banking infrastructure with an internationally experienced and qualified workforce as well as experienced lawyers, accountants, and auditors, adding that the overall compliance culture within Cayman is very strong including the compliance culture related to AML, anti-money laundering, obligations. On May 4, 2009, United States President Barack Obama declared his intentions to curb the use of financial centers by multinational corporations. In his speech, he singled out the Cayman Islands as a tax shelter. The next day, 
the Cayman Island Financial Services Association submitted an open letter to the President detailing the Cayman Islands role in international finance and its value to the U.S. financial system. The Cayman Islands were ranked as the world's second most significant tax haven on the Tax Justice Network's Financial Secrecy Index from 2011, scoring slightly higher than Luxembourg and falling behind only Switzerland. In 2013, the Cayman Islands were ranked by the Financial Secrecy Index as the fourth safest tax haven in the world, behind Hong Kong but ahead of Singapore. It is also the safest tax haven in North America, followed by the United States. Labor The Cayman Islands have small population and therefore a limited workforce. Work permits may therefore be granted to foreigners. On average, there have been more than 21,000 foreigners holding valid work permits. Work permits for non-citizens In order to work in the Cayman Islands as a non-citizen, a work permit is required. This involves passing a police background check and a health check. A prospective immigrant worker will not be granted a permit unless certain medical conditions are present which include testing negative for syphilis or HIV. A permit may be granted to individuals on special work. A foreigner must first have a job in order to move to the Cayman Islands. The employer applies and pays for the work permit. Work permits are not granted to foreigners who are in the Cayman Islands unless it is a renewal. The Cayman Islands Immigration Department requires foreigners to remain out of the country until their work permit has been approved. The Cayman Islands presently imposes a controversial rollover in relation to expatriate workers who require a work permit. Non-Caymanians are only permitted to reside and work within the territory for a maximum of seven years unless they satisfy the criteria of key employees. Non-Caymanians who are rolled over may return to work additional seven-year periods subject to a one-year gap between their periods of work. The policy has been the subject of some controversy within the press. Law firms have been particularly upset by the recruitment difficulties that it has caused. Other less well-remunerated employment sectors have been affected as well. Concerns about safety have been expressed by diving instructors and realtors have also expressed concerns. Others support the rollover as necessary to protect Caymanian identity in the face of large immigration of expatriate workers. Concerns have been expressed that in the long term, the policy may damage the preeminence of the Cayman Islands as an offshore financial center by making it difficult to recruit and retain experienced staff from onshore financial centers. Government employees are no longer exempt from this rollover policy according to this report in a local newspaper. The governor has used his constitutional powers, which give him absolute control for the disposition of civil service employees to determine which expatriate civil servants are dismissed after seven years service and which are not. This policy is incorporated in the Immigration Law, 2003 revision, written by the United Democratic Party government, and subsequently enforced by the People's Progressive Movement Party government. Both governments agree to the term limits on foreign workers, and the majority of Caymanians also agree it is necessary to protect local culture and heritage from being eroded by a large number of foreigners gaining residency and citizenship. Government The Cayman Islands are a British overseas territory, listed by the UN Special Committee of 24 as one of the last non self governing territories. The current constitution, incorporating a Bill of Rights, was ordained by a statutory instrument of the United Kingdom in 2009. A 20-seat Legislative Assembly is elected by the people every four years to handle domestic affairs. Of the elected members of the Legislative Assembly, MLAs, seven are chosen to serve as government ministers in a cabinet headed by the Governor. The Premier is appointed by the Governor. The Governor is appointed by the Queen of the United Kingdom on the advice of the British government to represent the monarch. Governors can exercise complete legislative and executive authority if they wish through blanket powers reserved to them in the Constitution. Bills which have passed the Legislative Assembly require royal assent before becoming effective. 
the Constitution empowers the governor to withhold royal assent in cases where the legislation appears to him or her to be repugnant to or inconsistent with the Constitution or affects the rights and privileges of the Legislative Assembly or the royal prerogative, or matters reserved to the governor by Article 55. The executive authority of the Cayman Islands is vested in the Queen and is exercised by the government, consisting of the governor and the cabinet. There is an office of the deputy governor, who must be a Caymanian and have served in a senior public office. The deputy governor is the acting governor when the office of governor is vacant, or the governor is not able to discharge his duties or is absent from the Cayman Islands. The current governor of the Cayman Islands is Her Excellency Helen Kilpatrick, CBE, and the current deputy governor is Franz Manderson, MBE. The cabinet is composed of two official members and seven elected members, called ministers, one of whom is designated premier. The official members are the deputy governor and the attorney general. They are appointed by the governor in accordance with Her Majesty's instructions, and although they have seats in the Legislative Assembly, under the 2009 Constitution, they do not vote. The seven ministers are voted into office by the 18 elected members of the Legislative Assembly of the Cayman Islands. One of the ministers, the leader of the majority political party, is appointed Premier by the Governor. After consulting the Premier, the Governor allocates a portfolio of responsibilities to each Cabinet member. Under the principle of collective responsibility, all ministers are obliged to support in the Assembly any measures approved by Cabinet. Almost 80 departments, sections and units carry out the business of government, joined by a number of statutory boards and authorities set up for specific purposes, such as the Port Authority, the Civil Aviation Authority, the Immigration Board, the Water Authority, the University College Board of Governors, the National Pensions Board and the Health Insurance Commission. Since 2000, there have been two official major political parties, United Democratic Party. UDP, and the People's Progressive Movement, PPM. While there has been a shift to political parties, many contending for an office still run as independents. Defense and Law Enforcement The defense of the Cayman Islands is the responsibility of the United Kingdom. Law enforcement in the country is provided chiefly by the Royal Cayman Islands Police Service and the Cayman Islands Customs Department. These two agencies cooperate in aspects of law enforcement, including their joint marine unit. The Cayman Islands Cadet Corps was formed in March 2001 and carries out military-type training with teenage citizens of the country. Taxation No direct taxation is imposed on residents and Cayman Islands companies. The government receives the majority of its income from indirect taxation. Duty is levied against most imported goods, which is typically in the range of 22% to 25%. Some items are exempted, such as baby formula, books, cameras and certain items are taxed at 5%. Duty on automobiles depends on their value. The duty can amount to 29.5% up to $20,000 KYDCIF, cost, insurance and freight and up to 42% over $30,000 KYD CIF for expensive models. The government charges flat licensing fees on financial institutions that operate in the islands and there are work permit fees on foreign labor. A 13% government tax is placed on all tourist accommodations in addition to $25 US dollars airport departure tax which is built into the cost of an airline ticket. There are no taxes on profits, capital gains, income or any withholding taxes charged to foreign investors. There are no estate or death duties payable on Cayman Islands real estate or other assets held in the Cayman Islands. Foreign Relations Foreign policy is controlled by the United Kingdom, as the islands remain an overseas territory of the United Kingdom. Although in its early days, the Cayman Islands' most important relationships were with Britain and Jamaica, in recent years, as a result of economic dependence, a relationship with the United States has developed. Though the Cayman Islands are involved in no major international disputes, they have come under some criticism due to the use of their territory for narcotics trafficking and money laundering. 
In an attempt to address this, the government entered into the Narcotics Agreement of 1984 and the Mutual Legal Assistance Treaty of 1986 with the United States, in order to reduce the use of their facilities associated with these activities. In more recent years, they have stepped up the fight against money laundering, by limiting banking secrecy, introducing requirements for customer identification and record keeping, and requiring banks to cooperate with foreign investigators. Due to their status as an overseas territory of the UK, the Cayman Islands have no representation either in the United Nations or in most other international organizations. However, the Cayman Islands still participates in some international organizations, being an associate member of CARICOM and UNESCO, and a member of a sub-bureau of Interpol. The defense and internal security of the Cayman Islands is the responsibility of the United Kingdom. Infrastructure Ports Georgetown is the port capital of Grand Cayman. There are no berthing facilities for cruise ships, but up to four cruise ships can anchor in designated anchorages. There are three cruise terminals in Georgetown, the North, South, and Royal Water Terminals. The ride from the ship to the terminal is about five minutes. Air Transport Education Primary and Secondary Schools The Cayman Islands Education Department operates state schools. Caymanian children are entitled to free primary and secondary education. Various churches and private foundations operate several private schools. Colleges and Universities the University College of the Cayman Islands has campuses on Grand Cayman and Cayman Brac and is the only government-run university on the Cayman Islands. The International College of the Cayman Islands is a private college in Grand Cayman. The college was established in 1970 and offers associates, bachelor's and master's degree programs. Grand Cayman is also home to St. Matthew's University, which includes a medical school and a school of veterinary medicine. The Cayman Islands Law School, a branch of the University of Liverpool, is based on Grand Cayman. The Cayman Islands Civil Service College, a unit of Cayman Islands government organized under the portfolio of the Civil Service, is in Grand Cayman. Co-situated with University College of the Cayman Islands, it offers both degree programs and continuing education units of various sorts. The college opened in 2007 and is also used as a government research center. Health and public safety Healthcare There are three hospitals in the Cayman Islands. Grand Cayman is home to the private Crizzy Tomlinson Memorial Hospital and the public Cayman Islands Hospital, commonly known as the Georgetown Hospital. Faith Hospital is on Cayman Brac. In 2007, a magnetic resonance imaging MRI, unit was installed at the Crizzy Tomlinson Memorial Hospital, replacing the one destroyed by Hurricane Ivan in 2004. In 2009, a standalone open MRI facility was opened. This center provides MRI, CT, X ray, and DEXA, bone density, scanning. Also housed in this building is the Heart Health Center, which provides ultrasound, nuclear medicine echocardiography and cardiac stress testing. For divers and others in need of hyperbaric oxygen therapy, there is a two-person recompression chamber at the Cayman Islands Hospital on Grand Cayman, run by Cayman Hyperbaric Services. Hyperbaric Services has also built a hyperbaric unit at Faith Hospital in Cayman Brac. In 2003, the Cayman Islands became the first country in the world to mandate health insurance for all residents. Emergency Services The Royal Cayman Islands Police Service, RCIP, provides law enforcement for the three islands. Regular offshore marine and air patrols are conducted by the RCIP using a small fleet of vessels and a helicopter. Grand Cayman is a port of call for Britain's Royal Navy and the United States Coast Guard who often assist with sea rescues when their resources are in the Cayman Islands area. The Cayman Islands Fire Service provides fire prevention, firefighting and rescue. 
Department headquarters are in Georgetown and has substations in Frank Sound, West Bay, Cayman Brac and Little Cayman. Emergency medical services are provided by paramedics and emergency medical technicians using ambulances based in Georgetown, West Bay and Northside in Grand Cayman and in Cayman Brac. EMS is managed by the government's Health Services Authority. Access to emergency services is available using 9-1-1, the emergency telephone number, the same number as is used in Canada and the United States. The Cayman Islands Department of Public Safety's Communications Center processes 9-1-1 in non-emergency law enforcement, EMS, fire, and search and rescue calls for all three islands. The Communications Center dispatches are CIP and EMS units directly however, the Cayman Islands Fire Service maintains their own dispatch room at the airport fire station. Health City Cayman Islands A major medical tourism facility in the Cayman Islands is under construction. Sport Truman Bodden Sports Complex is a multi-use complex in Georgetown. The complex is separated into an outdoor, six-lane 25-meter, 82-feet, swimming pool, full-purpose track and field and basketball netball courts. A field surrounded by the track is used for association football matches as well as other field sports. The track stadium holds 3,000 people. Association football is the national and most popular sport. Rugby union is a developing sport and has its own national men's team, women's team, and sevens team. The Cayman men's rugby seven seconds team is second in the region after the 2011 NACRA sevens championship. The Cayman Islands are members of FIFA, the International Olympic Committee and the Pan American Sports Organization, and also compete in the Biennial Island Games. The Cayman Islands are members of the International Cricket Council which they joined in 1997 as an affiliate, before coming an associate member in 2002. The Cayman Islands national cricket team represents the islands in international cricket. The team has previously played the sport at first class, list A and 2020 level. It competes in Division 5 of the World Cricket League. Squash is popular in the Cayman Islands with a vibrant community of mostly expats playing out of the Seven Court South Sound Squash Club. In addition, the Women's Professional Squash Association hosts one of their major events each year and with an all-glass court being set up in Kamana Bay. In December 2012, the former Cayman Open will be replaced by the Women's World Championships, the largest tournament in the world. The top Cayman men's player Cameron Stafford is number two in the Caribbean and ranked top 200 on the men's professional circuit. Flag football, CIFFA, has men's, women's and co-ed leagues. Other organized sports leagues include softball, beach volleyball, Gaelic football and ultimate frisbee. The Cayman Islands Olympic Committee was founded in 1973 and was recognized by the IOC, International Olympic Committee, in 1976. In the 21st century, skateboarding has become popular among the youth. In February 2010, the first purpose-built track for kart racing in the Cayman Islands was opened. Corporate cutting leagues at the track have involved widespread participation with 20 local companies and 227 drivers taking part in the 2010 Summer Corporate Karting League. Music the Cayman National Cultural Foundation manages the F.J. Harquail Cultural Center and the four million U.S. dollars Harquail Theater. The Cayman National Cultural Foundation, established in 1984, helps to preserve and promote Cayman folk music, including the organization of festivals such as Cayman Islands International Storytelling Festival, the Cayman Jazz Fest, Seafarers Festival, and K-Fest. Media. There are two print newspapers currently in circulation throughout the islands, the Caymanian Compass and Cayman Net News. The primary online news services are Cayman News Service and the Cayman Compass Online Edition. A local television station, CITN, Cayman 27, shows Cayman Islands News. Local radio stations are broadcast throughout the islands. 
Feature films that have been filmed in the Cayman Islands include, The Firm, Haven, Cayman Went and Zombie Driftwood. Caymanians Jeffrey Webb, CONCACAF President and FIFA Vice President, Gladen K. Bush, folk artist, McKeeva Bush, politician, Salita E. Banks, fashion model, Kenneth Dart, billionaire, Frankie Flowers, filmmaker, director and screenwriter, Ronald Forbes. Olympic athlete, Brett Fraser, Olympic athlete, Sean Fraser, Olympic athlete, Jason Gilbert, record producer and songwriter, Tiger Lily Hill, fashion designer and celebrity wardrobe stylist, Kemma Hyman, Olympic athlete, Edison McLean, first Caymanian gold medalist in Olympic skeet, Island Games, Sidoni Mathersel, track and field gold medal athlete, Bernard K. Passman, jeweler, Founded his business on Grand Cayman in 1975. Lee Ramoon, footballer. Kareem Street Thompson, Olympic athlete. Kurt Tibetz, politician. Tanya Streeter, freediver. Dow Travers, Olympic.